Since 1994, CMAX has been involved in the field of GNSS, a global navigation satellite system, to have better constraints on the active tectonic deformation happening in and around the Indian plate. GPS measurements for the past two decades have led to several pioneering achievements in qualifying the kinematics of the Indian plate. The Solid Earth Modeling Group focuses on precise GPS-based qualification and modeling of inter-, co-, and post-seismic surface deformation of the Indian subcontinent. We were the first to measure in 1994-1995 using a station in Bangalore the motion of Indian uh, subcontinent, that is the position, the motion with which the Bangalore moves, that is 5 centimeters per year. That was the first time in the world this motion was measured so precisely using global positioning system. If on the surface the deformation is 2 centimeters per year, you say, what is that that is causing below the surface this deformation? That is our main research focus in our group. And we have also modeled during this period of study, we had two major earthquakes, that is the Buj and the Sumatra earthquake. So during an earthquake, how much the deformation has occurred? Like for Andaman uh, Sumatra earthquake, the Andaman islands have moved up to 6 meters horizontally and up to 1 meter vertically. So using that motion, we can actually model how much is the subsurface rupture, how much is the extent of rupture which was caused by the Sumatra earthquake, which caused this 1 to 6 meters deformation on the Andaman islands. The scientists from CMAX monitor benchmarks around active volcanoes using GPS technology and use the data to measure the rise of the level of the magma by inverse mathematical modeling. 